Hello, uh, this is Media Pixels here. Today I'll be showing you how to uh, record PAL 60 games such as Call of Duty 4 with the Black Dazzle DVC 107. Uh, once you've installed it, you don't plug in your Dazzle at all, otherwise it will muck up the whole process. Uh, then don't restart your computer either and go to Pinnacle SYS and type that in Google and then click on the second one which is PinnacleSYS.com and click downloads if that if you don't have it then just go on the actual link let it load and then go support and then downloads and when that's loaded you want to go to studio and dazzle hardware drivers vista so you should get some table like this. Scroll down to DVC 107. Now, uh, so on your Pinnacle Studios, if you've had trouble with it before, it might say Dazzle DVC 100, but you have to click this one because this is the actual uh, Dazzle you've got, and it just picks it up as uh, DVC 100. So then go on uh, this 32 bit, because if you have Vista, and then start downloading it. I've already downloaded it, so it doesn't matter. And when, basically, when you downloaded it, just uh, follow the wizard and it will install by its like when you click OK. And now you can uh, restart your computer and everything. And then on Pinnacle Studios, if it's a black screen, I'll sh now show you the settings and how to get it into black and white first. So you go uh, cap setup, capture source, make sure your TV standard is NTSC, uh, aspect ratio 16 to 9, DVC 100, as I said before, it's actually a DVC 107. But it picks it up as 100. Um, and no auto scene detection. Catch a format MPEG 1 slash 2. Custom uh, resolution 720 by 480 and data rate 8400. That's a good quality, but your um, computer may not like uh, be fast enough. What you also need is a USB 2.0 port. Um, you just ask your dad or something if you don't know what that is. Um, or look it up. It's basically because um, a Dazzle it requires a fast USB slot, like some computers can't handle the speed, so it doesn't work. Uh, yeah, so that's basically it. And then click OK. And if all goes well, it should be in black and white, right there. And it will say an uh, invalid signal has been not detected or whatever. Please check your cables, just click OK. And it's uh, black and white and it's quite smooth but it might not be because of Camtasia. Um, to make it in colour, all you've got to do is uh, go start all programs, go around to Studio 11, Tools, and AM Capture. Click that. Now what you've got to do is click Devices, Dazzle DVC 100, Options video capture filter. And then scroll that to any C cam apart from C L1. I don't know why that doesn't work. So I just want me to C cam B and then click OK. And as you can see, it has turned into color. Uh, now, with this, you, it's a problem, but you've actually got to press start capture before you do the AM cap. Otherwise, as soon as you click start capture, it will just go back into black and white. So, uh, yeah, click start capture. Um, it, it, it will say invalid signal has been detected, but and then it will be a black screen. And when you click OK, it will be in black and white. And then click AMCAP and make uh, make it go into options, video capture filter, and change it to CCAMB, which is already on. Anyway. Um, yeah, that's about it, actually. And then just edit it in your normal package if you want. Um, yeah, OK. Uh, thanks for watching and rate, comment and subscribe. Cheers.